Welcome back to the Money Shree Cap. Today, I will show you a horror thriller film from 2003 titled The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. Five friends arrive on the scene as the film starts. They are going somewhere to attend a concert. The main character, Aaron, with the other friends, is there. Suddenly, a girl appears before them as they are driving through. Taxes. They think that the girl is in distress, so they stop their vehicle. They asked her what happened. Are you alright? That girl continues to walk without giving any response. Afterwards, Aaron goes to see that girl after getting off the vehicle. That girl is uttering that he is a bad guy. They think of her as disturbed and give her a lift when they cross the slaughterhouse. Then that girl tells them you are going the wrong route. Then she forcefully tries to stop the vehicle, and their friend the driver breaks the vehicle. That girl is continuously crying and says he is a bad guy. He ended everyone. She also tells them, you're almost done saying it. She keeps a gun in her mouth and shoots herself. Witnessing it, all are afraid and upset. Immediately, they come out of the vehicle. They are unable to think of what should be done with a dead body. Should we inform the police or not? After some deliberation, they favored visiting the police. But how could they know that they were going to bark up the wrong tree? They observe a gas station, and they go there, and they reveal everything to the owner of the gas station. And that lady contacts the police. She says to them, you will have to go to a mill there. You can meet that police officer. They felt uncomfortable, but they had no other option. They moved to that mill, but did not meet that police officer. The most shocking thing is that this mill was completely abandoned and they were waiting for a police officer there. Suddenly, they glimpse something there. While checking, they encounter a little boy. That kid tells them that a police officer will not come here because he is at his house. Aaron and her friend leave the police officer's house asking for the address of that kid. They search the house, but they encounter an old man there. That old man tells them this is not that police officer's house. But I can contact that police officer helping you. But only a girl can enter inside, and Aaron's friend waits outside. When the old man contacts the police officer, Aaron tells him everything that a police officer says, I will be there within half an hour. Aaron begins to leave after contacting that old man. He asks for help from Aaron, and Aaron helps that old man. It was a long time ago that Aaron went inside, worried. Her friend also moves inside. Aaron's friend starts searching for her. Then the movie's antagonist named Leatherface attacked him with a hammer coming from behind, and he dragged him into a room coming from outside. Aaron notices that there is no sign of her friend. It means that he has returned to Mitchell and she has also moved to the mill. Coming inside, Aaron sees that her friend is also not here. She gets worried. They start to search for their friend, but they don't find him. They get family photos in the car. There was also the photo of that girl who was a hitchhiker. They don't find their friend even after the search. Aaron and her friend again visit the old man's house in search of their lost friend. Aaron observes that the old man is sitting outside the house. She confuses the old man while conversing, and Aaron's friend goes inside during this time in search of his friend. That boy goes in such a room where human skins are hung everywhere. All of a sudden, he notices a box there and hears a sound. Aaron also comes there. That old man witnessed them. He loses his temper, catching the sight of Aaron's friend. He says, come on, boy, bring it. Meanwhile, Leatherface appears there, catching a chainsaw as he receives this message. They began to run, seeing him. Aaron successfully escapes, but Leatherface dismembers her friend's foot, taking him into the basement. Leatherface hangs him on a meat hook. He sprinkles salt on his dismembered foot to paint him after hanging. Then he wraps that foot with paper. Here it is shown that Leatherface had peeled the face skin of Aaron's missing friend, and he was making a mask of that face skin. Here. The real face of the leather face is exposed as he removes his mask. It appeared to be heinous, Aaron sits in her vehicle and starts coming into the mill, but it was not starting. In the meantime, a police officer also approaches. They're looking at him. Aaron is to the east, that police officer found the drugs in their vehicle. He gets aggressive due to this, getting off of the vehicle. He lays three of them down as their punishment. Afterwards, he takes Aaron's friend named Morgan in a vehicle. He asks Morgan to act out that a girl had committed suicide, and he forces him to put the gun into his mouth, giving the gun to Morgan. He compels him to put the gun in his mouth. He not only does it but also asks him to pull the trigger of the gun. Morgan is upset and he points his gun at the police officer getting a chance. He begins to fire his gun on the police officer, but the gun's magazine was empty. The police officer leaves while taking Morgan and the keys to the vehicle. 
And when that police officer brings Morgan to the house, let's face it, Erin tries to start the vehicle. She starts that vehicle, but its tires are removed while driving. Both female friends are still thinking about what is happening. This leather face arrives with his chainsaw, I'm afraid of him. Aaron's friend runs out of the vehicle and a leather-faced woman chases her. Aaron's friend tries desperately to flee but as her face dismembered by a chainsaw, Aaron was watching everything in front of her eyes. Aaron observes that the leather face has been masked with her friend's face, who was missing a long time ago. She is left astonished and worried. Seeing him now, Leatherface was advancing towards her. She escapes quickly, coming out of the vehicle, but Leatherface does not stop following her. While running, Aaron reaches a camper van. There were two females in the camper van, including a mother and daughter. Aaron reveals the Leatherface to them. A young lady says, Leatherface is a good guy. His problem is a skin disease. Due to this, his skin seems heinous. Otherwise, he does not harm anyone. Aaron accepts the lady's offer of a cup of tea and inquires about the phone from them. They replied, we have no phone. Aaron glimpse is that girl's family photos. Aaron is pondering where she has been trapped at the same time their phone starts ringing. Aaron observes that a lady is conversing with someone on the phone and she has a baby daughter in her lap. Aaron starts leaving, but she has fallen down and lost consciousness because they had adulterated something in the tea. Here it is revealed that both females have a companion with leather face, and they kill that girl's family after trapping them, and they take charge of this little girl. But that girl escaped in some way, having no option. That poor girl committed suicide by restoring her senses. Aaron sees that she is still in that house and she is surrounded by that family. The secret is revealed here that there are leather faces, flesh and blood. Leatherface's mother tells us Leatherface had a skin disease and his face had spoiled because of it. People used to tease him about this problem. Those people used to live here alone, disliking everyone. Leatherface bounds. Aaron is in the basement after being captured, and the basement is full of the horrifying things with which Aaron confronts her still alive friend. Aaron tries to unhook her. He was not released, but his pain was increasing. Aaron's friend begs her for his death. Aaron was not willing to act as such, but she comforts him while stabbing him with a knife from his painful life going ahead. She also discovers Morgan in the bathtub. There was a hole in Morgan's back, which indicated that he had been hooked. It was a bolt from the blue for Morgan. Aaron brings him out of the bathtub, and that kid comes there whom they had found was not a threat to them. But he wanted to help them both begin to leave. But let their expressions catch their attention, he also arrives there, taking the chainsaw. That kid was assisting them to come outside while their face was behind them. Morgan successfully escapes, but let's face it, he catches the foot of Aaron. That kid helps her. And somehow, Aaron also runs outside. Morgan and Aaron reach an older cabin, but the Leatherface has not stopped chasing them while pursuing them. He also approaches Aaron's hides. Morgan somewhere and also hides herself. Their leather faces begin to search for them. Many rates began to fall on her where Aaron had hidden herself, Aaron was quiet, but rats were making a noise, then letting their faces go from there. Aaron thinks that they perhaps could have survived, but they were at fault. The leather face catches her coming from the backside. He is about to cut her with the chainsaw. Morgan rescues her, coming to their leather face again, hooks Morgan there, and Aaron escapes in fear as leather face begins to pursue her while running. They reach a fence. Aaron succeeds to cross it, but Leatherface's foot is caught there. That chainsaw turns on his foot, leaving him injured. Aaron arrives on the road and asks lift from a car driver. But that car drives away without helping her. And Aaron begins to run ahead while running she comes before that slaughterhouse and she goes inside. But Leatherface had also approached their saving from Leatherface. Aaron hides in a large piece of beef, but it is in vain because the leather face cuts it with a chainsaw, she hides in a cabinet, picking a cleaver as her leather face comes before her. She dismembers his hand, attacking with the cleaver. Many times, being wounded, the leather face falls down. They're coming out of there. Aaron stops her truck as she goes on the road. The truck driver gets her in the truck, seeing her in trouble. Aaron knows that he is moving towards the gas station. Aaron says to him, you are choosing the wrong way, but he does not stop. Aaron was in the same situation as the girl at the beginning of the film, but he fought bravely to stop him. But it was too late. Because he had reached the gas station. Then Aaron also gets off the truck, along with him peeping through the window. 
She also sees that baby girl and they all move there, leaving the baby lady alone. She does not find the baby as she returns back because Aaron had escaped with that baby. The trucker checks his truck going there, but he does not find her there because she was seated in the car, and she strikes the trucker with that car. She reverses the car instead of driving away, and she crushes the trucker into death. Aaron had rescued that baby girl, and she was also with her. Aaron was leaving excitedly, but let their face attack them with a chainsaw. They're saving her. She escapes from their leather faces, who were looking at her departure. He was in a rage. Aaron fortunately rescues the life of that baby girl along with her. The movie concludes here with the survival of both. Thanks for watching.